As we move through the second semester of the school year, Governor Hogan says he wants at least some students back in their classrooms before the end of the spring semester. He set the deadline of March the 1st. Several teachers unions say they don't think that they're ready to do that yet. We've got team coverage this morning with Aaron McPherson and Megan Knight. We're going to start uh, with Megan outside West House and Elementary School in Baltimore County. So Megan, is there anything the governor can do to actually force schools to start the hybrid learning model? Well, Christian, he doesn't have any power to force these schools to reopen. However, during that news conference he held yesterday, Governor Larry Hogan said that he would look into every legal option that he has to push schools along if they don't start moving towards hybrid learning on their own. Now, we should mention that there are some local school districts that have already started or are planning to start hybrid learning. So Carroll County Public Schools, for example, they've been doing hybrid learning for the last couple of weeks now. Baltimore City plans to reopen more schools by next month, and then Anne Arundel County just voted to reopen schools come March 1st. Howard County recently announcing, though, it's postponing the start of in-person programs. That was supposed to begin in February. And Baltimore and Harford counties, they have not yet decided on when they plan to start hybrid learning. Under the state's COVID-19 vaccination rollout plan, teachers in kindergarten through 12th grade, they are now eligible to receive the vaccine under Phase 1B. But the state's deputy health secretary says reopening schools shouldn't rely solely on that. I would emphasize that school reopening decisions should not be based on the availability of vaccination or the level of vaccinations among staff. But it sounds like at least some teachers unions, including Baltimore City and Baltimore County, want all of their teachers to be vaccinated before they go back inside the classroom and they're concerned about how quickly they'll all be able to get vaccinated. We don't know how quickly everybody will get that first shot, not to mention the second shot. So just concerns that are being raised and, and we just need to get the answers to them. And Governor Larry Hogan really uh, coming down hard on this March 1st deadline. He says he's doing this largely in part because he believes that students are falling behind in their education. And he says that school districts may even need to look into extra tutoring or extending summer sessions for these students to catch up. We're live in Towson. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News. Okay,